Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you very much for joining me for today's video. So this is sort of a continuation from the last video where we made these two little treat, or this, this little treat envelope here with the envelope die and this matching A6 card. But in that last video I said I was going to show you how to make an envelope using the 123 punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. I love this one. And if you want me to continue a series on this punch board making the bow and a box as well, let me know down in the comments. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make the envelope and inside we have loads of sizes here and the guide to do it. But I'm going to show you exactly how to punch and where to score and, and all that. So as um, we start this video I always try to make a card so let's quickly make this A5 card here I'm continuing using the free papers and I will leave that download link down below it is from Craftworld and you do need to be a member to get this um, it's a free membership and then you have access to all of the freebies loads of um, inspiration you can share your own makes on there as well so this is an A5 card and I've popped down below a link that takes you straight to the cutting and scoring guide for this card so I'm literally just quickly putting this together and then we're going to move on to the um, the scoring board I'm just looking for my uh I keep losing them maybe it's because I keep putting them away I think that's what it is right I'm going to chop these up actually Now I'll also leave a link down below because I will get questions if I don't. Uh, the paper that I've used to print this on as well, it's a really good quality white cardstock for printing and it gives me superb results. I use an eco tank. My model's no longer available. Um, so do your own homework if you want to get an Epson eco tank. Read the reviews, go on YouTube and see what people are saying see if people like them, particular models. Some models don't do um, all the way to the edge. It will leave you a white border. So do your research. If you want to do borderless, do your research um, in the printer settings where it lists everything and it will tell you there whether it will do borderless or not. Okay, so here is a layered card. Isn't it stunning? I just love it already. And then I've got the cutter parts here and I've done the same trick of mounting my cutter part onto some craft card stock and that really just brings it out as well so I'm going to use some more foam pads for this one so this is going to be very dimensional I don't think the punch board will do an envelope for this size of a card because you would need a massive piece of paper to make that envelope so if you have any you, you, you can actually buy packs of a5 envelopes as well um, so you're not going to be completely lost if you make an a5 card right let's jump straight to the one two three punch board we're going to be making another little treat pouch this one was made using the small envelope I set I'll leave that linked down below and I'll leave some links for these as well I think they they should still be available at uh, Amazon this is where I got mine from many years ago and we're going to be making a four by five card which means my piece of paper needs to measure seven and five eighths and then our starting point is three and a half on here but I'll walk you through that so let's cut our paper to seven and five eighths I'm going to use this one here Okay, so I've cut that seven and five eighths on both sides. So I've got a perfect square. And this board also comes with its own little bone folder. And go back to your measurement instructions, and it says three and a half. So line this edge here with a three and a half punch, and then you score on score line A, which starts here move this over so you can see a bit better and that starts here there we go I now have 
a notch mark there and a score line. So turn it once to the left or anti-clockwise and we have this score line here. We now need to line that up with this score line just there and that should align with this little notch here as well. So punch and then score on that same line, score line A and then do it again. Line it up here, press down, do your score line, line it up again with the score line. So we only needed to use that first measurement here for the first, for the first one. The rest is all lined up on this diagonal line and then punch that and there we have our envelope. Okay, we do have a section at the top here with the top of the punch. Now this one here is, it does a special thing for the box on this side, but on this side here it does the, the round. So I'm just going to do those on the opposite ends because we do have a long side and a short side now to this envelope. And you've got all of your off cuts and can throw those away. Right, so let's get folding. Okay, so for my next video, I think I will go for showing you how to make a box with this, with the bow. Let me know if you want to continue with this paper collection or whether you want me to try something new some different papers let me know in the comments yeah, I think it'll be lovely if we could have a complete set of everything from here I think that would be great okay so we're gonna fold these in and we fold that up that's it <laughs> that is it <laughs> so easy so we're just gonna add some glue here just using cosmic shimmer because it dries fast and you all know it's my favorite oops I added extra glue here I didn't need that there we go because on some of these envelopes they do pop up over the top of that top V and you can even get special glue that you can pop here that um, is like a lick and stick sort of thing so you run it on and it dries and then you're able to wet it and then seal it but let's just make life difficult and just glue it all down for everyone we all have that friend that uses too much tape well we can always go up one step further and use glue when we give them back their present okay Let's pop our treats in. We probably have a bit more space now for some more treats. So we can probably pop in maybe a couple of extra sweets. Some Malteser uh, bars will go really well in here as well. So I don't want to warp the shape too much. So we're just going to stick with the one chocolate bar. You can pop in a gift card in there or some money, a check. If you still give checks. I still receive checks for birthdays. So they are still about just need to get this even and then there is our little treat pouch again if you want to make a card for this a 4x5 card you can do as well so this envelope maker really does allow you to make any size card you want within parameters of the sizes of your card stocks um, and then make a matching envelope and you can add your bow okay so let's finish this off I'm going to use some organza again I love that stuff where did I put it again this is quite sizable now so that you could actually use some more cutouts and toppers to add to this envelope because it's a really good size now See, as your projects come together you get full of new ideas on what you can do I don't know if anyone else's brain works like that mine certainly does there we go beautiful ribbon scissors where'd I put them oh, put them away this time there we go there is our beautiful envelope with our gift that is going to go really nicely with our birthday card really nicely uh, coordinated as well and I would probably pop in some ivory 
just plain ivory paper just to map the inside here on both sides actually or maybe even make a, an enclosure so that an uh, insert thingy as well that would look really good as a really nice looking happy birthday so all I've got to do now is just add a bit of twine to make it a little bit similar to this I'm absolutely loving this collection okay so that is how you make an envelope using the one two three punch board by we are memory keepers i will leave uh, links for this down below i will leave links for the paper pack the free paper pack download toppers down below everything else that i've used will also be down below cutting and gift guide uh, sorry the cutting and scoring guide is also linked to it's all in one place especially for this card here for the dimensions for this card and um next video i'll be showing you how to do the box so if you like this one, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.